welcome to the University's Archive. We're in level B3 of 4 to 12 Little Titchfield Street and we've got a small selection of items out to show you about the history of the Students' Union. These are some of the booklets and magazines that were produced by the Students' Union from the 1950s onwards. Some of these include handbooks that were produced to show students what they could expect from their new life in London. And some of them are just general magazines talking about what's going on within the university. They're a really great resource for people to learn about what previous generations of students have done. Um, and also just the graphics um, and the pictures within them are a great resource for students. We have some examples here of students over the years. So these are 1950s students queuing up um, for enrolment night. So there was no UCAS, there was no internet obviously at this point. So when you wanted to come and start a course, you queued up on the night and it was very much first come, first served. And these are 1970s photography students. Um, and next to them we have the 1950s photography students. And you can really see the way in which fashions have changed over time. Being in central London, the students here have always been a very fashionable bunch and have very much represented the fashions of the time. And you can see the real change from the suit and tie through to the more casual look that perhaps students have carried on with today. And these are some spaces that you might recognise. This is the swimming pool that today is known as the Deep End. The swimming pool was built in the 1880s as an important part of the recreational side of the Polytechnic. And it was really one of the first public swimming pools in central London. It used to be a very ornate affair, but by the 1950s it had become more dilapidated and it closed in the 1980s. There was never any heating in it and it became impossible to kind of maintain um, to a modern standard and keep clean. So unfortunately it had to be closed, but it's been turned into the student space you have today. Similarly, the gymnasium would have once been used for boxing displays and for athletics. Um, and last summer this was turned in, into another student space because you have the more modern gymnasium downstairs in the basement. You can see many of the original features still in the gymnasium though, like these iron bars here and also the railings around the edge are still there. And this is another space that's under development. This is the gymnasium of Little Titchfield Street, originally built for the women's side of the institution. Um, and this at the moment is being turned into the Law Lecture Theatre at the centre of 4 to 12 of the Hall Titchfield Street. It's got a great history this space because this was the first place that Jimi Hendrix played in Great Britain when he got on stage with Cream and jammed with them at the end of a concert. We also have a huge selection of, of magazines really documenting the entire history of the university. This is the Polytechnic magazine um, and this tells you everything you need to know about our history really. We've digitised all of these and they're available online and they include everything from examination re results to results of football matches, we have things here about the cycling club and the fencing club and the ramblers and the Polytechnic ramblers are still going today. And then later through to the 1980s we have things like judo, and we have just general news about the, um, what the events going on in the Students' Union. And then one of the great treasures of the collection is this album, which tells you everything about the history of the institution in 1899. It includes photographs of all the different classes, all the students sitting at their desks, and all the different activities going on. As you can see, the classes then were much more practical to the ones they are today, but very much like we do now, we try to prepare students for professional life.